This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how do I scale an object with subdivisions and have it retain its details? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. So it's just a model of a glove here, and it contains four subdivision levels. So the question is asking about scaling this model and having to retain all the details that I've currently sculpted on the surface of the mesh. So the first thing I wanna do here is let's just show the error in which the user is running into. So I'm gonna to go to the tool palette and go to the geometry area here. I'm gonna take this all the way down to subdivision one. Now I'm gonna to switch to the Gizmo 3D and I'm going to now just scale this model down twice to make it really small. So let's say I'm doing something and I need that glove to fit at this size, so I've just scaled it down twice. And now I'm going to frame it so I can see it a little better here. And now I've got it repositioned, rescaled on my model that it's associated with. And now I'm gonna come over here and switch to my highest subdivision level. And this is what I end up with. So as you can see, it's gone through. And when I scrolled back up to that top subdivision level, this is the result I got. But this is not what we're looking for. So what happened here is since we scaled the model at such an extreme offset, when we go and take the slider to go back up to level 4, ZBrush is looking at the offset of the subdivision 1 to subdivision 4 and is trying to recalculate those details. Now since subdivision level 1 had changed so drastically, the details that are calculated end up looking something like this. So how can we go by resolving or fixing this so that I can scale that part of my model and not have it look like this when I change it back to the highest subdivision level? So the process to do this is very simple. So first I'm just gonna undo this to get back to my full-sized mesh here, and then I'm just gonna frame that again. So here we have the glove at its original scale down at subdivision one. And the workflow to make sure that your details hold when you scale a model is just simply to make sure you scale the model at the highest subdivision level. So if I take the glove here and I make sure that it is in the highest subdivision level or subdivision four, and now if I switch back to that Gizmo 3D and scale down twice, so once and twice, and now frame the model. So this is the glove again that has now been rescaled. You'll notice that those details are still there. And now I can safely transition down to subdivision one and then transition back to subdivision four. And you can see those details are going to hold. So just make sure that if you're forming any large scale effects inside of ZBrush and you have a lot of sculptural details on your model, that before you perform those scale effects, that your model is in the highest subdivision level. This will allow you to retain that information you'll now have those details holding when you resize or scale that mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!